Think Fiat, think small cars, but they've also produced some of the prettiest two-seaters ever. The 124 Spider of 1966 easily outglammed the best British sports cars for outright sex appeal. 30 years later, Fiat was at it again with the Barchetta, but while it had great looks, it was front-wheel drive and only came with the steering wheel on the left. Well, Fiat is back. They've resurrected the 124 Spider name for their new two-seater. There's an engine at the front with drive going to the rear, and the steering wheel is available on the right. Things aren't quite what they seem though. Yes, this is the new Fiat 124 Spider, but in actual fact, it's based on the Mazda MX-5. It would seem as though Fiat has decided that if you can't beat them, you should join them. So the two cars share the same chassis structure, suspension and rear-wheel drive transmission. They're even built in the same factory in Japan. To say this is an Italian Mazda would be telling some fibs because there is quite a large amount of Fiat in this car. The first of which is the engine. It's a 1.4 turbocharged petrol engine taken straight out of the Alfa Mito. And with 138 brake horsepower, it's a pretty good engine. Yes, it is some way off the MX-5 2 litre, but it's still quick enough. 0-62 takes 7.5 seconds and it sounds pretty good too. Nice and roarty, just like a sports car should. But the Fiat's turbo does come with some disadvantages. It's not quite as frugal as the entry-level MX-5 1.5, and below 3,000 RPM, the engine can seem a little unresponsive due to some turbo lag. But elsewhere in the rev range, it's a gem. Another point of difference is from behind the steering wheel. Yes, you do get the same steering wheel as you get in the MX-5, albeit with a Fiat badge glued onto it, but the steering response is a little bit different. You turn into a corner and you still get the same pinpoint accuracy as you get in the MX-5, but in the Fiat, it's a little bit heavier, which I personally like. Fiat has also added stiffer springs and dampers, and it just feels a little more rigid in the corners. You still get the same beautifully balanced chassis as you get in the MX-5, but in this, you can be a bit more of a hooligan. Ooh, thanks to the turbo engine's extra mid-range punch, it means you can really fire this out of corners and get some entertaining results. And yet it still feels entirely safe and totally controllable. The 124 also doesn't look like the Mazda either. In fact, every single panel on this car is different. At the front, it's totally new. It looks just like the old Fiat 124 Spider of the 60s and 70s. Along the sides, there's these flowing shapes. And when we get round to the back, there's a muscularity which you don't tend to get with any other Fiat. It looks very much like a Maserati from some angles. Now, when I first saw this car, I thought it looked quite awkward looking, but over time, it's really starting to woo me. Now, there's no getting away from that infernal Mazda in here, though. The dashboard is identical from the Mazda, and it's even got the same infotainment screen. Having said that, there is a step up in quality. There is more soft-touch plastics used around the cabin, and these seats are finished in a very Italian colour scheme. So, the Fiat 124 Spider, then. It's a Mazda MX-5 that's done the Italian job. But so what? It's a brand new sports car. And how often do they come along? Why are we all complaining? Click the video on the left for a first drive of the Mazda MX-5, or on the right for a track battle between the Toyota GT86 and the Mazda MX-5. Click the play icon to watch our latest video and on our logo to subscribe.